you. I am here today again. Today is another edition of my video. Today I am going to talk about pull cord. Why your pull cord is not pulling? Have you tried to pull your pull cord one day? And you notice that it's not pulling. You try to pull. You try to pull. You apply the normal for you usually apply before. Yes, your pull cord is not pulling. What is the problem? What is the fault? How will you fix it? That is what I'm going to tell you right here in this video. It has happened to me. I tried to pull my generator pull cord and it's not pulling. I will share my experience with you today with other experiences that I've gathered somewhere. We are going to see how your pull cord will keep pulling. Let's get the ball rolling. The first thing I will advise you to do is you need to separate your pull cord. You need to separate your pull cord from the engine. The complete pull cord like this is separated from the engine. That's the first thing you need to try to do. Then what is the second step? The second step is that manually with your hand turn your engine from the cup attached to your flywheel. Try to use your hand to turn the engine. You need to understand that if you cannot turn your small engine with your hand, then how can a little pull cord pull it? So if your engine, why you try to turn with your hand, is not turning, then maybe the engine, that means seizure has occurred to your engine. Then the problem is not from the pull cord, rather it is right with your engine. So try to check, separate your, your pull cord from the engine and see what you have to do. Maybe the problem is from the pull cord or the problem is from the engine. Now, if you notice that while you try to turn your engine, your engine is turning manually, then your pull cord is the fault. What will not be the fault of your pull cord? On many occasions, statistics have proved that the fault usually comes from the pulley of your pull cord. You can see the pulley here. The pulley as always responsible for the pull cord not pulling. If there is a damage right on the pulley, it will not allow the pulley to move freely with the casing of your pull cord. That will prevent your pull cord from pulling. Another one I would like to share with you is if your rope of your pull cord is too thick, you know, the rope of your pull cord based on the size of your pulley. If the rope of your, of your pull cord is too big, then the rope will be touching the housing, this very housing, and that will prevent it from pulling. So you need to make sure that you check the previous one you changed, the previous rope you checked, that is the same diameter you are using, the same thickness you are using, in your new one you are replacing make sure it is exact not too big if it is too tiny your pull cord may be cutting or may be broken frequently so use the exact one that you that comes with your equipment maybe it is your generator it is your snow blower it is your lawnmower whatever make sure you maintain the thickness of the previous one. Then the last point I want to share with you is that wrong fixing. When you are trying to fix your, when you are trying to fix your pull cord, if you don't fix it rightly, then you have problem. It will not pull. It has happened to me before. When you are tightening your screw or your bolt of your pull cord. Usually, the boat usually be four or three, maybe one, two, three, one, two, three. While you are tightening it, make sure that you guide three of them. Don't tighten one completely before you go to the next one. If you do like that, 
It will not balance. It will tilt to one side. And when it tilt to one side, that will not that will prevent it from pulling. So what you have to do is that when you guide this one, you come here, you guide this one. Then you come here, you guide this one. Then that is how you be tightening. That is how you be tightening gradually, little by little, until all of them are locked. Then the tune, the your pull cord will lock very well. If not, if one side tilt like this or like this, it will not pull, and you will be experiencing your pull cord not pulling. And you not be thinking that it is your pull cord that is the fault. Rather, it is you that feel the pull cord that is the fault. I hope I've shared something meaningful with you today concerning your pull cord. Please subscribe to my channel so that the algorithm can promote me, so that more people can see the video like this. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to make comment. Tell me what you like about the video and what you don't like. What I need to improve on. Thank you so much. I appreciate watching me. See you in my next video. Mr. Engine. I greet you.